We all have this million dollar idea from time to time, but there's very few of us who actually go ahead and make that idea into something more. Nowadays, the words Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ripple, and Ethereum are getting a lot of attention, and they have a lot of us wondering what would happen if we dared to invest in them. If you've ever wondered how many people actually make money from cryptocurrencies, today we'll show you the top 10 richest crypto billionaires in the world. Who knows? Maybe after the end of this video, you'll make that bold move that'll put you in one of our next top 10s as a newcomer millionaire in the biz. Number 1. Sam Bankman Fried. Net worth $8.7 billion. This 29-year-old MIT graduate is crypto's wealthiest billionaire. His company, FTX, is a cryptocurrency exchange built by traders for traders and is currently trading about three times more volume than Coinbase. He also manages $2.5 billion of assets through Alameda Research, the quantitative crypto trading firm he founded in 2017. After graduating from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 2014, Sam decided to try out earning to give, so he intends to donate most of his wealth to enable positive change that matters by funding several people more qualified than he in the project. So when Sam met Will McCaskill, co-founder of the Center for Effective Altruism and 80,000 Hours, he decided he could contribute to make the world a better place by effective altruism, which is a great way for many people to use their strengths and have a big impact indirectly by funding others that are inspired of helping causes such as animal welfare, for example. Number two, Brian Armstrong, net worth $6.5 billion. CEO of cryptocurrency trading company Coinbase, Armstrong was born on January 25, 1983 near San Jose, California. He worked as a developer for IBM and consultant at Deloitte and joined Airbnb in 2012. He entered the Y Combinator startup, Accelerator, and received a $150,000 investment, which he used to fund Coinbase which is a way for cryptocurrency enthusiasts to trade Bitcoin and other digital currency. In his company, he's discouraging employee activism and discussion of political and social issues at work. He offered severance packages for anyone at Coinbase who wasn't comfortable with the policy, and 60 employees left the company. Prior to this, he supported the Black Lives Matter movement and tweeted when George Floyd was killed, I've decided to speak up. It's a shame that this even needs to be said in this day and age, but racism, police brutality, and unequal justice are unequivocally wrong, and we all need to work to eliminate them from society. Armstrong appeared in the 2014 American documentary, The Rise and Rise of Bitcoin. So how you holding up so far? We're just getting warmed up, so hold that notebook close and keep note how the others have made it. Number three, Cameron Winklevoss and Tyler Winklevoss. Net worth, three billion each. The 39-year-old Winklevoss twins began buying Bitcoin in 2012. Their classmate at Harvard, Mark Zuckerberg, had swiped their idea for a social networking site building a fortune of 97 billion. 12 years after they settled with Zuckerberg for 65 million in Facebook stock and cash after losing an epic battle over ownership of Facebook. Now they're back as Bitcoin billionaires. From their digital art auction platform, Nifty Gateway, they put the artist, Mike Winkleman, who goes by Beeple and his artwork every day, the first 5,000 days on the map, through a series of drops starting last year, receiving a $69 million cryptocurrency payment for Beeple on behalf of Christie's for the third most expensive art sold by a living artist. Their holding company, which goes by the name of, what else, Gemini Space Station, owns the crypto exchange and Nifty Gateway invested in 25 digital assets startup building a new virtual world that they and others call the metaverse, in which companies thrive in art, music, real estate, entirely made in this three-dimensional world bought and sold with great profit. The idea of a centralized social network is not just going to exist five or 10 years in the future, Tyler predicts when asked about Facebook. There's a membrane or chasm between the old world and this new crypto native universe. And we're the conduit helping people transcend the offline into the online. Number four, Michael Saylor, net worth 2.3 billion. Saylor was born in Lincoln, Nebraska on February 4th, 1965, and he co-founded and leads MicroStrategy, a company that provides business intelligence, mobile software, and cloud-based services. 
and he's a provider of free online education. At MIT on an Air Force ROT scholarship, he joined the Theta Delta Chi fraternity, where he met the future co-founder of MicroStrategy, Sanju K. Bonsal. In 1992, MicroStrategy won a $10 million contract with McDonald's to develop applications to analyze the efficiency of its promotions. By early 2000, Sailor's net worth reached $7 billion, and the Washingtonian reported that he was the wealthiest man in the Washington, D.C. area. In 1999, he established the Sailor Academy, which provides free education for all students. And in 2012, he released a book for mobile technology, which became a bestseller. And in July 2020, he announced his intention for MicroStrategy to explore purchasing Bitcoin, gold, or other alternative assets instead of holding cash. Whew, we're talking about a lot of money here. By the way, do you know what doesn't cost any money? Liking this video, subscribing to our channel, for real, it's totally free. You're welcome. Now, are you ready to continue? Number five is Matthew Rozak. Net worth, 1.5 billion. He discovered Bitcoin in 2011 and he's now the chairman of Blog, founder and CEO of Tally Capital, director and beneficial owner of eBoost, Mission Mode, New Entity, OnRamp, Solid Space, Barefoot Landing, Done Vegan Space, Robocoin, Viwava, and TrueLook, chairman of the Chamber of Digital Commerce, the world's largest trade association representing the blockchain industry, the founder of the Chicago Bitcoin Center, serves on the board of BitGive, a nonprofit foundation targeting public health and the environment. Mr. Rossack also produced the first Bitcoin documentary, The Rise and Rise of Bitcoin. Named as one of the who's who of the cryptocurrency world by the Wall Street Journal, Mr. Rossack is a Bitcoin investor, advocate, and speaker. Mr. Rossack has invested in over 20 Bitcoin startups, including Bitfury, BitGo, Blockstream, Robocoin, and Zappo. He's invested over a billion dollars of capital in a broad range of industries. Number six is Timothy Draper, net worth $1.5 billion. In 2014, the Silicon Valley venture capitalist bought $18.7 million worth of Bitcoin that was confiscated by U.S. Marshals from the shuttered Silk Road black market. Those coins are now worth $1.5 billion. Bucks. Born in 1958, Draper is the third in a familial line of venture capitalists and government officials. He attended Phillips Academy, Andover, Stanford University, and later earned an MBA from the Harvard Business School in 1984. Draper invested in Jack Smith and Sabir Basha, who presented him with their company, Hotmail, where he had the idea of attaching a brief advertising message to the bottom of outgoing Hotmail emails, and he was called the inventor of viral marketing. He was also the first to invest in China and bought 28% of Baidu Company on behalf of ePlanet for 9 million US dollars. His father was an early investor in Skype. Timothy invested in Tesla, and on June 27, 2014, Draper paid about 19 million for nearly 30,000 bitcoins that were seized by the U.S. Marshal Service and auctioned to the public. In December of 2019, he predicted that bitcoin would reach 250,000 U.S. dollars in 2023. After funding Twitch, which was sold to Amazon for a billion dollars, Draper funded Cruise, a self-driving car after nearly crashing with it, which was later sold to General Motors for a billion dollars. Draper's recent investments include Robinhood, Coinbase, eShares, Tezos, Defy Money Market, and OpenGov. Well, we finally made it to the final three. Are you feeling the creative juices flowing already? I mean, after all, if they did it, why shouldn't you? Get ready, because things are getting pretty hot in these next few listings. Number seven is Fred Airsome. Net worth, $1.9 billion. Born in Boston in 1988, he's an American business executive and investor who is the co-founder and managing partner of cryptocurrency investment firm Paradigm. He is also the co-founder of cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase. He played video games professionally in high school and was an avid World of Warcraft player, which introduced him to the concept of in-game digital currency. After graduating, he learned about Bitcoin from a Georgetown University professor's paper and began trading in his free time. In 2012, Ersom and Brian Armstrong co-founded Coinbase in an apartment in San Francisco as a way for crypto enthusiasts to trade Bitcoins and other digital currency. Number eight, Shang Pen Zhao, 
net worth $1.9 billion. Shang Penzao, who goes by CZ, thank goodness, is founder and CEO of Binance, a cryptocurrency exchange that became the largest on the planet in just under 180 days. He was born in China and moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, after his father, who was a professor and exiled from China. He helped his family by working in different jobs, one of them being a McDonald's employee. From 2013 on, he worked for various crypto projects and in 2017 started a cryptocurrency exchange called Binance. And in less than eight months, he grew it into the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume. In February 2018, Forbes placed him third on their richest people in cryptocurrency list. Number nine, Barry Silbert. Net worth, 1.6 billion. A pioneer in Bitcoin investing, he established himself in 2012 as one of the earliest and most active investors in the industry. In 2015, he founded DCG, a global enterprise that builds, supports, and invests in companies all over the world with over 50 investments in 15 countries, including BitGo, BitPay, BitPagos, BitPesa, Chain, Circle, Coinbase, Gift, Kraken, Ripple Labs, Tradeblock, Unicoin, and Zappo. Through its numerous subsidiaries, DCG has also invested in more than 200 crypto startups. Number 10, Chris Larson. Net worth, $3.4 billion. Born in 1960, co-founded and former CEO of OpenCoin, which later became Ripple in 2012 to facilitate international payments for banks using blockchain technology. Among his 100-plus customers, Ripple counts American Express and Santander. In April 2019, Larson and his wife, Lina Lamb, donated $25 million in XRP to San Francisco State University in what was the largest donation in digital assets to a university at the time. Well, there you have it for today. These were the top 10 richest crypto billionaires in the world. Which one do you think made the best decisions and is going to be your mentor from here on out? Let us know in the comments, and if you haven't already, go to our channel, check out the other videos there. Maybe your next idea will pop up while you're browsing. You never know. We'll see you next time, folks.